Good evening, this is Night Prayer for Thursday, February the 10th, 2011. It's year one, Epiphany 5, and week 5 of the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 85, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 10, uh, 14 through 26. And the Song of Simeon, Luke 2, verse 29 through 32. Our help is in the name of the God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us see your mercy. Give us your saving help. Alleluia. Psalm 85. You once favored your land and revived the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all your rage and calmed the heat of your anger. Revive us now, God our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Will you not restore again our life that your people may rejoice in you? Let us see your mercy and give us your saving help. I will hear what you have to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for your people and friends, and those who turn to you in their heart. <clears throat> Salvation is near for the God-fearing, and your glory will dwell in our land. Mercy and fullness have met. Justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. You will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. And justice shall march in the forefront, and peace shall follow the way. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us see your mercy. Give us your saving help. Alleluia. The lesson is from Paul's second letter to Timothy, chapter 2, beginning at verse 14. Keep reminding people of these things. Warn them before God against quarreling about words, which is of no value and only ruins those who listen. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, and who correctly handles the word of truth. Avoid profane, idle talk, for people who engage in it move further and further away from true religion. This kind of talk spreads like gangrene. Among these talkers are Hymenaeus and Philandus, who have deviated from the truth. They claim that the resurrection has already taken place, and they have destroyed the faith of some. Nevertheless, God's foundation stands firmly, bearing this inscription, Christ knows those who belong to God, and all who call on the name of our God must avoid wickedness. Not all the dishes in a large household are made of silver and gold. Some are of wood and others earthenware. Some are made for special occasions and some for everyday use. Those who cleanse themselves from wickedness will become a vessel for special occasions, useful to Christ and ready for any good work. Run from youthful lusts, pursue justice, faith, love, and peace in union with all those who call on our God with a pure heart. Avoid futile, silly debates, for they breed quarrels. And as a servant of Christ, you must not engage in quarrels. Instead, be gentle with everyone, a good teacher, patient and tolerant. Be gentle when you correct those who argue with you. 
perhaps God will grant them repentance, the grace to recognize the truth, and they will come to their senses. Thus they may be freed of Satan's snare, where they have been captives to the devil's will. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now, O tender God, let your servant go in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared before the face of the nations, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and the Almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.